No charges. What the? Nice. Three killed. One enemy remaining. Hey guys, Joel's here. We're starting something new. We're giving away one free coaching session every week. Watch until the end of the video to find out how. Enjoy the video. Hello? Oh, hello? Yo, what's up? How's it going? Uh, I'm alright. How about you? Good, good, good. Chilling. Alright, so currently gold one. Uh, 156 okay. damage per round. Oh, so that's looking good this, this act, actually. Oh, last act is looking good, too. So you're chilling. If you just keep like playing games, you're going to start climbing naturally. Even without changing anything. Okay, should be plenty for main here. Ooh. Cool, 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 cool. We have done it. All right, all right. Remind me. Uh, so when we're, whenever we can, we have the opportunity to. We want to be planting for um our team or for a place where we can play off of site also if we win pistol we want to buy full armor specter also right. it's going to oh, aggressive okay nice try nice try nice try Allie? all right sorry a couple yeah. things here um so so remember when we got in a site and we planted like kind of safe in the corner um yeah yeah, yeah, so you want to plant for, usually you want to plant for something, right? So either like, like a main power. or something, like in the corner. Yeah, just so your teammates can kind of play off of it. If, you, if they give you sight, you kind of want to take advantage of that and play somewhere. Another thing too, so after winning pistol round, every time you win pistol round, the next round, you're going to want to buy Spectre full armor. Almost always. You can't go wrong with that after winning pistol. Yeah. Shadows traveling. So this guy should also be you smoking. Spawn. Smoke so that's from heaven. You could go heaven and fight this. Nice. One more there. Hold up. One enemy remaining. Oh. Oh, oh that's so unlucky. <laughs> that's tough. And I know this is like more of like a hindsight thing, but you you could have ulted out. So that's something that's like some omen tech, right? Like if yeah. you're in the ult, you can ult out for two seconds, and then as soon as the ult is over, you cancel, right? Yeah. So that's, but that's like I wouldn't expect you to make a play like that. You know, it's it's hard in the moment to think about that kind of stuff. They talk about my one time. Run to dust. One shot. A shot. Damn. Team's not ready for me. One enemy nice remaining. Nice job. Oh, he's down low. Oh, I'm low. You want to bait me? Okay, I'll, good like, call. Teleport out. I'll teleport behind him. Last player right standing. Close. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, nice try, nice try. So the idea was good, right? How you wanted him to bait you. I probably would have TP though. I probably would just swung. Um, I, thought it, I thought I could get farther and make him go farther away from the crosshair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anytime you're saving on defensive uh, side, play. yeah, you don't want to play like you normally would with guns. Uh, you want to kind of do some risky stuff. Oh, mid. Oh, oh I'm getting rushed mid. You're good, you're good, you're good. You're chilling. Very nice kill. Huge kill, actually. Try and get the gun, yeah. One enemy remaining. Oh, hey, yeah. Cover going out. Ooh, oh, careful. Standing. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. No worries, no worries. Oh, wow. Okay, it was a bonus round. We could buy this this next round. So one thing to always keep in mind is always see like when was the last time our teammates have watched something, and then if it's it's been a while or you're unsure, we have to always like keep in mind that okay, someone could be here. We have to re-clear this. Um, nobody picked up heaven. They could be pushed through, right? Anytime there's like a possibility of something like this, we have to like actually clear it out uh, so we don't ever get caught off guard. I think nice, good kill. Right? Good kill. Spike down this reload a. was scary. I think we just chill. I don't even think we have much careful guys. Yeah, flash. No I think wrapping you. Stop. Pause the video right now and go subscribe. Thanks. No charges. Gun here. Spike, Let's go. Spike down B. Yeah, kill Last ready. player standing. What the? Nice. Three killed. Spike planted. One enemy remains. Heaven, heaven. Oh, nice try. Attackers Damn. win. 
Oh, shit. Dude, that was almost cold. That was almost a sick clutch. Nice try. Okay, so a couple things that I noticed. Uh, I think a big thing that you do is like your util usage sometimes is either late or sometimes we don't even use it that we could be using it a lot more. There's some times where you're taking some gunfights here, you know what I mean? Like, and, and fighting someone and then you kind of fall back and then you run back towards sight. So this is okay too. Um, but what I would do is like, you know, take this fight, you know, you see them, they cross over, boom, and then I just immediately pull out util and then smoke, right? So whenever they, they give you like a second of free time, you want to use that time to either pull out util, do whatever. You got this kill on the Cypher, who was, uh, got the bomb down, right? As soon as you got that kill, bomb was down, and then you started looking for this fight on Reyna. You had full util here, right? What I would have done instead, I would just like smoke, use the smoke right there to stall. We have bomb down, maybe you reposition and go this way. Um, but even after you kind of fell off in this rain, you got flashed from the omen. We knew that omen was mid. You did throw smoke here afterwards, which is good because now you're isolating a 1v1 with the omen. But even for this, I would have probably flashed and then look for the fight for omen. We don't want to just like kind of like dry swing uh, people when we have util to kind of work with, especially when they know where we are. If they don't know where we are, it's okay. We could do that. And then we kind of catch them off guard with that. But if they know we're, play we're playing here, yeah, we might as well throw some flashes or something as we swing, right? So we can at least yeah. get some, some form of value out of it. And another thing too, on defensive side, if you hear sound at all, like let's say I hear sound B at all, I'm just going to instantly smoke right away. Um, unless I know that they like to run more of a slower game and, and really take their time. But if they like rushing or they, you know, aren't faking anything. Yeah, I'm just, I hear sounds. I even immediately smoke. Sometimes I even start the round with smokes in hand. And like the second that they're like, oh, A, I just immediately smoke for them. Sometimes I'm noticing that we, we kind of slow peak angles. Like you're holding shift around angles. And this can be problematic, especially when you know where they are and they know where you are. You don't want to really do this. They're, they just hold a crosshair placement like this. And just one tap, they come around the corner. And what you're going to want to do is do what's called quick peeking where you peek like this right you're just peeking quick and it's fast it's not as slow as this right this is super slow but you're you're going quick and basically how you do it is you can take a couple steps without holding shift right like i'm not holding shift whatsoever this is just me and you can actually take like a couple steps right without making a sound and this this way you show up on the screen a lot faster for them you don't give them as much time to react you're going to be seeing them or you're going to be able to react quicker it just gives you a huge advantage peeking this way so bursting and strafing so sometimes you do it well when you burst and strafe but there's also some times where i'm noticing like you just burst but you're standing still and the thing is right with like bursting i'm sure you know but i'm just gonna go over it just in case you know uh but with bursting you have to wait a second right for the recoil to reset and you know and there's a specific timing for it but the thing is like with strafing it's not like you're losing anything during this reset time because mm -hmm. um in between this time that it waits for your recoil to reset you can just add strafes into it you keep the exact same rhythm the only thing you're changing is it's harder for you to get hit right and when we do these kind of like bursts and strafes it uh gives us a huge advantage again i can't stress this enough if you guys are grouped up and you guys are hitting stuff and they're over rotating for the next couple rounds, we need to start lurking more. Like, have your team do, like, go wherever. And then at the beginning of the round, I tell my team, hey, guys, go slow. Don't don't go too fast, right? And then just make a lot of noise. And as they're making a lot of noise, maybe they take top ramp control. I'm going to, like, see what I'm hearing. Like, oh, maybe they're rotating through mid. And as soon as they rotate to vents and crossed, that's where I'm going to be like, ooh, now is, like, a perfect time to kind of, like, walk up. Uh, and catch them off guard, right? Um, yeah. And then you kind of get behind them, and then you, you just, you're a menace. You're a menace uh, when you get this this deep. So lurking in general can create a lot of space, especially if your team decides to fall back and then come back to you. So it's like if they're making a lot of noise, A, this guy rotated events, and you're like, guys, 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 come B, I have B. And as they're rotating back from A to B and realize, oh no, they might be faking, you're gonna you're gonna be able to walk all the way up here and then catch them off guard with their knife out, right? You just get this nice little kill mm -hmm. and then you can fall off and whatever. But getting this sort of like pressure on the map is big and you can abuse that a lot, especially in gold because gold players don't really uh, take that into account when we are uh, lurking and, and stuff. S still smoke for your team. If they want to rush something, it's like, all right, fine. You can still smoke. That's the benefit of playing Omen. Like, you get to smoke across the map. It's like, oh, they want to go A? Sure. It's like, I'll smoke for you guys. Here you go. And then just chill and then maybe, like, walk up a little bit, you know, see what's going on. Yeah. But just be careful not to peek beforehand. I wouldn't, I wouldn't peek that because they're going to be looking here, right? So 
Wait for them to cross over into vents, and then that's when you can probably come up behind them. Yeah, yeah. any questions? Any questions about any of that? Not really. I just don't know where to position sometimes, but I feel like this helped a lot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, so that's another thing, too. With positioning, if they get in a site and they plant the bomb, you want to plant a spot where you can peek the bomb if they do decide to tap. Um, if we're going too aggressive, like if we're over here and we're aiming um, like this, it's like, this is scary because they can easily peek us from heaven. We don't want to be playing in spots where we're exposed by multiple angles. You only want to be playing in spots where you're exposed by one, right? So by playing like back here, it's like we're only exposed by here. I mean, yeah, they can come this way, but we could probably play like here. And then we we're watching both. We're watching both, right? So this is something that we can definitely start doing. All right, all right. Well, I hope you have a good rest of your day. Yeah, um, thank you. And good luck in your rank games if you're playing anymore. Guys, 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 free coaching every week. Join the Discord in the description box below. If you want to try out other coaches, go to coaching.joelstv.com or click the link in the description below. They're all ready players. They're great people. And I personally vouch for them myself. Good luck climbing.